1,000 subscribers. Finally. And I couldn't have done it without you guys, so this is for you. Hi, I am ZW, and I turn people into figurines. But today, I made a play button to celebrate the milestone of hitting 1,000 subscribers. Honestly, I think that the play button looks a bit boring, so I decided to add a little signature to it before printing. I'm not saying that because I don't have one yet, it's just that my OCD couldn't leave such a simplistic design alone. I think it's an occupational hazard really. Speaking of design, I designed my own logo. And contrary to popular belief, it's not just a random Asian character, mind you. I think its backstory is quite interesting. Now that I've an audience of 1,000 subscribers, I would assume that at least one of you had wondered about the meaning of my logo at a certain point in time. So let me explain while I prepare this for printing. <clears throat> in the Japanese dictionary, the word sculpture has many different terms. Chōkoku, Chōzō, Chōsō. And I decided on Chōsō because the character So can also be written as this, which looks exactly like a Z combined with a C. Coincidentally, the initials of my brand is also a Z and a C. Everything came together perfectly. Oh, by the way, I'm not Japanese, I'm just a weeb. So, for all you know, I might be bullshitting. But who cares? It looks good, right? And I can't wait to print it out. As usual, my handy dandy Form 3 printer. Absolutely in love with it, couldn't live without it, and definitely not sponsored. Yet. While you're waiting for Form Labs, I use your printer for every video. Such a loyal fan. You know, it's amazing how much materials I've hoarded over the years because I didn't even need to leave my house to complete this project. I had everything I needed in my workshop. Wooden strips left over from another project, sandpaper that I just used to smooth prints, some pet G sheets I used as visors for helmets, and even these cardboard backings of a used foolscap paper back in my studying days probably 3 years ago. Who said I wouldn't need this crap after I graduate, huh? Mom? I'm just kidding, my parents keep more crap than I do. <gasps> is that why I'm a hoarder? Basically, this is a scaled down version of the old school play button. Not a silly plaque that YouTube is giving out right now, because it's an actual button. So after doing some measurements, we just need to cut the materials and assemble them. Because the button itself has a certain thickness to it, the frame needs to be at least two layers thick so that I can glue the PETG sheet without touching the button. Now we can take a break and return to the computer to do some Photoshop. The actual play button has some white wordings on top of the glass congratulating you on surpassing a certain number of subscribers which is easy to replicate because it's just some words and a YouTube icon. But before that, I want to mark out where the frames would be so that I can position the words accurately. And with the borders done, I just need to type in the necessary wordings and position them properly. And of course, for printing purposes, we don't need the background, it needs to be transparent, so we gotta remove it. And before I forget, the icon needs to be white as well. So let's fix it now. It's good that my attention to detail will help me avoid the need to print another piece just to fix this mistake. And now I'm just adjusting the position and the size to make it look pretty. And we are close to the finishing line. We just need to print it on a sheet of transparency paper. Except, I am stupid. Because I was genuinely expecting a transparency paper with white words on it. But, 
A regular printer doesn't have white ink. I can't believe I, I have taken this for granted my entire life. It's hilarious. So, I went back and I filled everything black and printed again. Okay, after gluing it onto the pad G, we cover it up with the remaining wooden strips and it's done. It took me three and a half months to reach 1,000 subscribers. And to be clear, I'm not monetized yet. I need 4,000 watch hours. And I'm so far away from it, it's painful. But nonetheless, it has been an interesting experience having my emotions tied to how well each video performs. I would say this is the epitome of an emotional roller coaster. But with all my eggs in this content creation basket, I will push on. 30 figures, 40 uploads, 1000 subs. Let's see how long it takes to reach 10,000. See you next Friday.